What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our first V2.5 update video. So this is official information on the official Konami website. I did a video a couple of weeks back where I talked about new ideas and new feedback that I gave and all that sort of stuff. And I think it kind of, yeah, look, there's stuff coming into this that I'm very kind of happy about. Whether it's balanced or not is going to be another thing because we'll get into that in a second. Um, but I do think that V2.5 is going to be a hugely important and vital update for the series going forward, right? Because we're in kind of a bit of a, a spot at the moment where there isn't a lot of stuff to do within Dream Team apart from play games, you know, and you've got the upper echelon of player and the upper tier guys that are, you know, top 500 division one are, you know, like going for that record all the time. Win streaks, you know, trying to play sweat mode, playing meta and all that sort of stuff that are just beastly at the game. And then you've got guys that are newcomers that for the first 20 to 25 hours of building your squad, it's brilliant. But then everyone in between, I think they need to add more stuff like what they're talking about here in V2.5, right? So servers are down at the moment, lads. As you can see there, the maintenance is still underway. But I wanted to do this video first and foremost, right? And then we will get into the player reviews. I'm going to be dropping about four videos today and I will have a live stream. So I hope to, guy to see you guys in the chat. But anyway, right? Talking about V2.5, right? The biggest thing that they talk about here is actually, in my opinion, uh, the skills, right? That could be potentially game-changing. I'm going to show you why in a second. But for the start of this, we do have a release date of V2.5, which is going to be coming in April. I would say probably, you know, maybe like the 20th of April, um, whatever date that Thursday is. I would potentially think that we will get that there. So obviously we're in March now. I would say probably a month's time. We will, we will probably know more about like when we're going to be getting it. If I had to guess, I would probably say like 20th of April, just based on kind of how they've released stuff in the past. But um, yeah, I mean, I think that's going to be an important an important thing uh, to get a date on that because V2.5, even though they don't talk about gameplay here, they always tweak gameplay and hotfix stuff. And I think that they will balance a little bit more than they did in V2.4, right? So they also talk about additional player slots in my team. So currently you can have 500 players in your squad. They're going to be expanding this to 900. I mean, that's fairly self-explanatory. There's no need to really go into that. Obviously, once you get 500 players in your dream team, you have to release more to get more at the moment. That's going to be increased to 900. So you can have 900 players in your squad, which means potentially you won't really need to ever, you know, release players again, right? And you can sign these using GP. So it gives us a use for that GP that's been burning a hole in our pockets if we've been playing the game for a long time. Now, let's talk about the skills, right? So this is going to be a new feature that they mentioned back in the roadmap or kind of a little kind of mini roadmap, I would say when they announced V2.4, right? And they said there was going to be a spring update for another one, uh, which has now become V2.5. So they talk about player skills and they talk about that you're going to be able to add five additional skill slots, you know, two players. So every player is going to get five additional slots and then each player will be able to possess a maximum of 15 player skills, right? Now, whether they're going to be adding new players with 15 skills or whether they're going to continue to add players with a maximum, like any new card that they add, whether they're going to continue to have a maximum of, fifth, of 10 player skills, and then you're going to be able to add five yourself, right? So this is something I actually mentioned in a video I did about kind of like um, suggest suggestions for Dream Team and how to build up squads and stuff and modes. Um, and you can see it here, right? That why this could be game changing. Right, so if we take Haaland, we're over on eFootballDB.com. If we take Haaland here, right? Haaland as a centre forward, obviously these player skills are tied to the position he plays, the style that he plays, how he handles with the AI on the pitch, and then a couple of different factors as well. But they have a maximum of 10, right? So there's 10 player skills, and then the AI playing styles are different, right? That's when you're not controlling the player, right? These player skills are set like there, there's 10 and that's it. There's a maximum of 10. So you're going to be getting an extra five slots here that you'll be able to upgrade this card with and any card with. So they'll have five potential user player skills that you'll be able to, to pick. Now, it is going to be at random. They say it here that the players are going to be at random and you'll be introduced. They'll be able to be unlocked uh, with this newly introduced skill training program, right? So potentially you will either unlock or buy uh, skill training programs and then you go into the player like Haaland in, in the game and it'll be like add new skill. It'll be like Pez 20, uh, it'll be like my club. Pez my club where you added the player skills it was at random um and you could also train positions and stuff uh so i think that potentially what you'll see is like say the likes of halland here right you could add something like i don't know like fighting spirit to halland you could add pinpoint cross into halland um you know he has super sub like you will potentially be able to craft a player 
exactly how you want it if you're willing to buy these or get these skill training programs and just continuously ro- like uh, roll the dice and then whatever skill that you're happy with you can just lock that and then move on to the next slot so potentially you could have a center back that has every single player skill that you could want defensively and then you could give him like double touch fighting spirit and super sub and you could bring him on in the 60 a minute right we will get into that a little bit later in the live stream as well that but that basically means that all this paragraph means is that you're going to be able to add five extra skills player skills to every card right they also talk about contract renewals so I've been I've been kind of querying this for a, a long time, how they're going to handle players running out of contract, right? Because it's coming up to that time now, how they're going to handle players that you have in your club that will basically, you know, be running out of contracts, right? Now, we could get contract renewals from the shop, and we could also get contract renewals from the match pass when you clear the match pass. I think it was like 50 levels, but they have mentioned here that you are now going to be getting contract renewals when you release five-star players, right? So instead of just getting GP, you were getting, and training programs, uh, when you release a five-star player, you're now going to be getting a contract renewal of 10 days as well. So potentially, potentially, if you release 10 five-star players, okay, you're going to get a contra- 10 contract renewals for 100 days. So potentially, you could give those contract renewals to whatever players that you want. And I think that they'll balance this quite a lot, um, because obviously they want to, you know, keep people playing the game, but they also want to balance it for people that have bought a lot of players such as Haaland or such as Romario or any of those players that they got at the start of the game that are running out of contract. If you've got, you know, 30 players running out of contract around the same time, if you've been playing since day one, that's going to be hard to manage your team. You know, it's going to be very, very hard, right? So I do think they will make the contract renewals a little bit easier and they kind of mention it here as well. Last but not least, we talk about new feature legacy transfer for users to transfer experience points and additional skills from one player to another. All you have to do here, it explains it itself. Select a player you want to have all experience points and skills transferred from, then select legacy transfer and choose a player that fulfills the conditions required to inherit those experience points and additional skills. So anyone that's played any other game apart from eFootball, you know, whether it's Pokemon, whether it's NBA 2K, whether it's any of those kind of RPG games where you're able to trade in stuff towards something else or you're able to discard stuff, um, you know, in your inventory for, you know, coins or material or whatever it is, whether it's Fallout, whether it's Assassin's Creed, whether it's any of those games where there's that RPG element. So this basically means that if I release a player and I want to do the legacy transfer, I will literally just transfer all his experience points and skills from one player to another. So Again, this is very kind of interesting, and I'm going to be interested to see how they balance that. Now, we do have um, maintenance is still going on, but we do have obviously those that have played NBA 2K, right? So this is kind of similar to what I think they're going to do when you have this kind of exchange feature in NBA 2K, in that you're able to exchange things to unlock other things. I think that they'll go down this route eventually. So I've exchanged two cards there to unlock a new arena. And you can do this with a load. You can get like, you know, really good rewards in it um, by trading in other players. I don't have many players who haven't played that much this year uh, compared to last year's because it's, yeah, it's just a lot of issues for me this year. But um, yeah, that's basically what they're going to be doing. So you'll be able to just kind of like trade player um, for player and then you give them the exact amount of stuff, right? They also mentioned that the legacy transfer requires GP, which I'm very intrigued about as well. The exact amount of GP corresponds to the player whose experience points and additional skills are transferred from. So if you've got a beastly player, you're able to train that player directly towards a new player. So for example, you could have four versions of Haaland, right? And you could get like one version of Haaland that's super, super like hard to train up or you need a lot of training points. And you could train two or three of your versions of Haaland straight in instead of like releasing him, instead of doing this. You could literally just trade in that and get a carbon copy of how you've trained that Haaland except more you like you could have different skills and stuff like that so yeah that will uh, that will be something that we keep an eye on once the process is complete the player that you release uh, or trade towards will be released and then the experience points of the inheriting player is be maxed the excess amount of experience will, will not be transferred over so it's similar to my club again we're going back to that my club stuff so yeah look there's a lot to get through there lads but we will be back today with a load of videos we are live streaming later so hope to see you guys in the chat i hope that clears up a lot of v2.5 i try to keep it short and sweet but explain it as much as possible as well because i know there will be a lot of questions about this how it's going to work so hopefully that helps you out we will be back on hopefully the servers are back um the server maintenance is still underway but hopefully we'll be back it should be any minute now that we get back in but yeah, 
that is it for me lads i will talk to you later and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe there's a lot of content coming today and i will talk to you in a bit all right lads peace i think we're back are we back i think we're back baby let's go let's go straight into all the reviews and uh, we will have those up quite soon as well there we go there we go all right lads i'll talk to you in a bit peace